All right. So the inspiration of today's video is yesterday's Instagram live chat. You see, the idea of these live chats are to help you guys a bit better. The idea is to help you guys understand the few basic things and mostly debunk all these stupid myths and misconceptions forever. Because if you think using hair products isn't safe, if you think using hair products can lead to hair loss and can absolutely damage your hair, then boy, this is the video for you. I mean, I need to address this stupidity. So why wait? Why just not jump right into gentlemen my name is Mang Bhattasarya this is Men's Essentials let's roll the intro real friends real friends real friends through life and death real friends real friends real friends okay so two quick things before I get into the video one click that big red subscribe button and that notification bell in case you are new here on this channel I make videos on a daily basis I wouldn't want you to miss any single one of it number two once you're done with that you can also check out my Instagram for more such live chats stories, posts, videos and all that good things. Now that being clear, that being said, let's get started. Stupid hair myth number one, excessive use of hairsprays, waxes, pomades and gels can cause balding or can cause some incredible or terrible hair loss. Now I don't know who started this, I don't know where did this thing even come from but boy this is the stupidest thing I can hear or I can even comprehend to when it comes to men's style and grooming. Gentlemen using hair products, any hair products has got no bearing in you going bald whatsoever. But that is as long as the damage done by these hair products are limited to your hair and not to your scalp or skin below your scalp and your hair follicles. Now just in case you are wondering, it's nearly impossible to get things below your scalp or to your hair follicles. I mean, it's just nearly impossible for any hair products to do that. Now, yes, the hair above the skin, the hair above the hair follicle or the scalp can get dry, it can get damaged, it can get weak and thus may lead to some hair loss. But there are only a handful of reasons that causes that and you can easily fix them. You know, things like pollution, dirt, dust, poor hair maintenance or hair health maintenance routine or lack of it and using a lot of alcohol heavy dry products on your hair like a lot of hair sprays and hair gels especially the cheap ones which has a lot of alcohol content in it which makes your hair stupid wicked dry in no time i mean the chances of breakage is usually high when your hair is left bloody dry because dry hair leads to dandruff and dandruff dandruff is not good for anyone's hair health ever so no matter how terrible your hairstylist your hair cut or your hair products be always remember to have a healthy hair maintenance routine remember to wash it shampoo it, condition it on a regular basis, remember to oil it on a regular basis because the healthier your scalp, the healthier your hair be, the lesser are the chances of having any breakage or balding whatsoever. And yes, one more thing, now please stop sending me texts and DMs saying why don't you want to style your hair every day or why don't you want to use hair products every day. I mean shut it, quit it, style your hair the way you want every freaking day. It doesn't affect anything. None of this is going to hurt your hair. None of this is going to cause any hair loss. Stupid hair myth number two, wearing caps and hats can cause hair loss. I mean, I kid you not when I tell you this. Eight out of 10 men I meet actually believe in this stupid myth of fedoras and baseball caps and all these hats causing hair loss and balding in men. And their apparent logic is based on the idea that wearing cap cuts off the air circulation to your scalp, thus preventing your hair from breathing. I mean, wow. Seriously, you know, what these Einsteins don't know, what these jackasses don't realize or don't understand is that your hair has got nothing to do with the air in the air to breathe. Your hair is breathing through the bloodstream, so it doesn't matter whether you're wearing a cap or a helmet on top, as long as your cap is not dirty, as long as your cap is not polluted, as long as you're not exposing your hair to the pollution, dirt and all these other skunky things in the environment, Nothing is causing any harm to your hair. Your hair is breathing oxygen from the bloodstream, not from the bloody air. Stupid hair myth number three, coloring your hair causes major hair damage and incredible hair loss. <laughs> okay, now here's the thing with this one. Yes, bleaching your hair is probably the worst thing you can do to your hair health or your hair charm. But the products that are used today and the procedures that are taken today for your hair coloring treatment or to get a new color done on your hair is a whole lot different than what it was five, six years or even six months back to be honest. The products are a whole lot safer, both at home or at salon. The products are a whole lot more safer, they are a whole lot less heavy on your hair and therefore they are gentle enough to not to weaken your hair when used properly or correctly by the appropriate stylist or hairdresser. You know, as a matter of fact, some of these hair products or some of these hair colors have 
some sort of extra conditioner which actually makes your hair a whole lot more manageable than before. Now of course if you are feeling a little apprehensive about it or if you are unsure or uncertain about this you can always consult a genuine good hairstylist or a hairdresser and get yourself sorted and informed about this prior getting into this altogether. Stupid hair myths number 4. Regular trims and haircuts can cause, can promote hair growth. <laughs> okay even I am guilty of you know believing this thing since few months back but here's the thing your hair irrespective of you cutting it or trimming it or not will grow half an inch to quarter of an inch each month each and every month it doesn't matter whether you get a cut or not now it may grow slightly faster in some ways but that has got nothing to do with your hairstylist scissors and trimmers it however has got everything to do with your hormones and your overall health that promotes your hair growth to a lot extent but hey on the other hand, getting regular trims and getting regular haircuts will help you with your hairstyles, will make your hair a whole lot more manageable than before. Eliminate split ends and do all that good things and make your hair so much more fantastic and sexy than when you not get regular trims for your hair. I mean, it's just as simple as that. And lastly, stupid hair myth number five, blow drying your hair isn't safe for your scalp or your hair cry. True, but not really. Let me explain. You see, blow drying, no doubt, causes a lot of damage to your hair health or to your hair and your hair scalp than the all natural hair. But here's a fun fact about this whole thing. Air drying or just letting your hair be as it is in the open causes more damage to your hair than a freaking blow dryer. Gentlemen, the interior of your hair actually swells up the more it is in the water. It causes more damage to the interior of your hair than using a freaking blow dry. The water in your hair causes more damage to your hair then using a blow dryer to dry it and rinse the water off. Okay, so you can't towel dry your hair, you can't blow dry your hair, you can't just let the air be in the air as it is. Then what do you do? What do I do, man? How do I even do anything to my hair? Well, easy. Use a blow dryer, use it in the high speed setting with a medium heat or a low heat setting and use it six inches away and don't concentrate on any hot spot for a longer period of time. Just blow dry it everywhere. Easy, sort it, no worries at all. 5 stupid myths for your sexy hair all sorted all busted. I hope it was well worth your time. I hope it did clear out some misconceptions that most men have with their hairstyles or with their hair from time to time. In case it did help you then don't forget to click that like share and subscribe button and yes don't forget to check out my instagram for more such epic live charts and all that good things. Now I'll have to get back to work, do my hair, make more videos and do all that good things. Meanwhile you you miss a sexy hair, you don't forget to dress up. Stay strong, stay stylish. My name is Mangra Sarah. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Very soon. Text. Bye. Cheers. <laughs> Alright, so they... Alright, so... Makes you fucking weak and don't be your best friends Really tired, we put fire in the morning and still be fucking at night there For each other through the good and the bad and the happy and the sad